This is Sheila Finkelstein with Alexis, who's now giving us a tour of her recycled art studio, as usual. Mm -hmm. So what we have up here is like the fond de collection, things that were made uh, in the past that either didn't sell or we've stopped producing for one reason or another. Uh, if they don't have a price tag on them, then they're our first model, and I usually keep the first one made by the first uh, woman of that group. So they eventually, for example, the big fuzzy orange one up there, uh, was made by Marlin, which now has a different uh, look to it because people on vacation aren't usually interested in a lot of wool around their necks. But she, when I she brought it in for the first time, I said, wow, it's Nefertiti, it's e Egyptian, it's you know fabulous. And Marlin looks at me and says, Alexis, it's pre-Columbian. <laughs> and what's this little pocketbook? A lot, what you hadn't mentioned was the fabric. You, right, the fabric oh, thrown out right. with we the recycle? Or? Pull tabs and just tons of strips of rejected uh, uh, pieces of fabric that people don't throw away but give to us so that we can make things with them. And that's what we do. So it's strips of um, remnants and pull tabs. Here you have some pull tabs. Here you have pull tabs. Wow. And more pull tabs of different colors and different origins. This comes from Canada. This is a specific, now this is the Canadian pull tab. It's called Canada Red. <laughs> it's a beer. And uh, people collect them because they feel um, committed to doing something. This it's, is Something tricks me. What is I this love is that an earring? Oh, so that's a full set the bracelet, necklace, and the little earrings. Yeah, and that's all fabric and pull tabs. That's it, that's all it is. These are headbands for little girls with a little flower on one side and a little bracelet that goes with it. Here you have Gloria, who lives on an island where no garbage is picked up, and she was really intimidated as a fisherwoman to combine colors, like colors are always combined, she didn't know how to do that. So she started weaving with just one band. And that's really exciting because you can do quite a bit with, with just one strip of cloth hmm. and a different color. So this is the Gloria model. And this is Lisa, who's left the project long ago, married and went to another part of the country. And this is what Marlin's, uh, pre-Columbian uh, looks like now. It's a, it's a lighter fuzz, it's a silk fuzz, and that is very popular. People like now that Now your fuzz. fuzz you're getting just from pulling the fabric apart, correct? You, you have to make a mention of it. Yeah, you have to pull one strip at a time, basically. Uh, you, pull, you don't pull a strip, you, put, you pull one little... You do this. See, some, some, oh, right, right. and you make a fringe just by doing that. And then you can fold it and weave it after that, making the fringe as long as you want. There's some materials like this polyester that people make tablecloths from. We got hmm. a ton of that. Um, it, it's kind of active, it stays alive. Whereas blue jeans, for example, this particular blue jeans, comes out white and it's a little soft. This is silk, so it's soft. Depends on the fabric. So there's a lot of experimentation that goes into it and this is what the women like to do. They'll come up. One of the ladies in Aida made this, but nobody wants it. It's very complicated, but the idea of having three strands was her dream, so we keep it. I actually should put it up there, but uh, it, 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 the whole idea of getting it exactly to hang with the same distance between each one takes a tremendous amount of work. It's just awesome, but I love it. So how much teaching goes into, okay, that's, so we're gonna,